Hi there, I wanted to give you an update on how to embed videos onto your LinkedIn post or LinkedIn articles. Uh, it's fairly simple, if you know how. So first of all, enter a new line and it comes up with this little square box. If you click on that, you can add an image, video, slides, links, or a snippet. Now, there are two ways I'm gonna be showing you how to embed your videos. One is just clicking on the video link. The other is using the links tool, and I'll explain to you the benefits of that. Firstly, let's start with the video link. We'll click on that. And it wants us to paste a URL, and it tells us it can be from YouTube, Vine, Vimeo, and more. So we're going to grab a YouTube one. It's fairly popular YouTube, uh, and I'll just go back to the top. So there's a couple of ways you can you can embed it. You can take the URL straight from the top of the page. You could click on Share, um, and just grab the URL from here. So I'm just going to grab that for now, and I'll paste it in here, and press Enter. And there you are, there's the, the video. Now, but there's a problem with doing it this way, and I'll show you right at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Anderson from Sonic Side. Now, do you see what happened? It came up with these suggested videos right at the end, which I think is a bad thing because it distracts your audience from what you're trying to talk to them about. They'll see the next shiny thing, click away, and they're watching Game of Thrones trailers in no time. So, there's an option to this. If you click on the the tool there. This time we're going to click on links and that provides us with an opportunity here to paste the link in here. This time when we go to grab the share code, so you're in here. This can be any video, any video. It doesn't need to be your own video. It is in my case, but it could be anyone's video. You click on share and this time click on embed. Now you'll notice down here you've got some options. You may, they may not be apparent at first. You may just have a code here and you might need to click on show, show more. And you get to see these options here. And one of them is show suggested videos when the video finishes. That's what's currently happening. It's the default setting for YouTube. You don't want that ticked, so untick it. You can have the player controls and the video title and player actions, but you don't want to have that ticked. Okay, so that creates a code up here. You see the bit that's changing is this related videos equals zero. It means it's not going to show you those. If I click that, that little piece of code has now disappeared unclick it and that's what's the difference in the code is so now we grab that code and we paste it into here and press enter and now we've got two versions of the video so one is with the related videos at the end and one isn't so just to confirm that we'll play it a friend was just explaining and that right at the end thanks for watching i'm jeff anderson from sonic site as you see, it goes back to the front of the video. So we're not getting our audience distracted with the next shiny things. So I recommend using that way. If you don't have time, just cut and paste a URL from, uh, from the video and do that, but you do risk losing your audience along the way. So I'm Jeff Anderson from Sonic Site, as I've said on the other video. Hope that's helpful. Cheers.